Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about duplicate accounting. Now a lot of my subscribers, it, I have been around the block, have been following me for about two or three years and no doubt they will know about what duplicate accounting is. I'm not asking for anyone to admit it, don't type it in the comments section or anything like that. I'm just reporting on this video, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not condoning doing any of this but we're going to discuss what duplicate accounting is and how it's different from multi accounting now a lot of you already know this but for this is for the benefit of those that don't know so if you get any value out of this video please like subscribe and all that other lovely stuff if you come to my channel I've done some videos lately about sharbin check these out I've done a website article as well on bestbookie.com please check that out there's a load of information in there and also on my videos, I've got videos about everything really. Now there's some other guy here called Arb Hunter Trading. I don't know who, who the hell that guy is. Look, he's speaking in a language I don't understand. But there again, I only know one language or think I do. I speak gibberish as well. But if you don't know what duplicate accounting is, let's go on odds checker. Right, so let's say we are looking to open a betting account. I don't know why I've got an odds checker, by the way. Some people surprisingly don't even know what odds checker is. It's a free comparison site reason like old people like me use this is because it's one of the first ones around it was and you could even back before they had like profit accumulator odds monkey all that kind of thing you used to be able to do much betting quite easily via this and betfair just these two platforms and to be fair i still do the majority of it through that method why because you don't have to rely on software which sometimes has obsolete finds and you can find it yourself which i, I recommend is the best way but let's say you've already got a bet victor account or a coral account not a coral on here now and you haven't used it for a year or something what some people have done like i said i'm reporting about this is open another account blatantly in their name might have a different email address might have a different home address and they've got the bonus and all of this sort of stuff. And sometimes they're not being gubbed. Sometimes they've been caught out straight away. And a lot of the time they'll get the bonus and then they'll be gubbed, say, a month later. This is what I'm reporting. But whatever you do, don't do it on Skybet. Good luck. If you can do it on Skybet, then you, you've cracked it. Skybet have, have a way of not allowing you to do this. I don't know what it is. But apparently Bet365, you can do this, or you used to be able to do this up until about a year ago. Let's say you had an account or your mum had an account with Bet365 that you got gubbed with a year ago and you haven't used it since. I know a lot of you guys out there have got many Bet365 accounts that are sitting there gathering dust. I'll tell you another use for Bet365 accounts in a minute. Um, that you can use them for bots people even buy them for bots if you go on sites like i don't know arb users or things like that i didn't say that by the way people buy, will buy old accounts in on mass but i'm just like i said i only only heard this stuff but anyway bet365 account what some people have done is they've opened up a bet365 account blatantly in the same name even in the same address same old shebang and the weird thing that bet365 do is they'll give you the bonus or this was the case of many reports that i've heard they'll say back something a hundred pound minimum odds requirement for bet betting up to a hundred pound in bet credits is 1.5 so they pick something like i don't know man city at the weekend that are odds say 1.5 and you can lay them off at 1.54 minimal risk you know because if you didn't get the bet credits you've lost three pound or what i don't know fiver and then you've got the chance of getting the bet credits. This is what people told me anyway. And the trouble is, though, they give the bet credits they have with a few of these guys that have told me. But they gub you straight away. But it doesn't matter. Because when you get these free bets from this duplicate accounting, what a lot of people have reported that they don't want to be laying things off in case they do get found out. And I'll tell you how I got done for £700 about 10 years ago in a minute so it does have its dangers so one thing is that you'll be taking a value approach so you wouldn't want to have like a hundred pound on something at say 4.0 and just hope for the best 
the good thing about Scott, uh, Bet365 Gubbin you know, when they give you these bet credits is you have bet maxes of £1, £2, £3 and all of this. But you can just hammer it away on odds that are, say, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 1. And the likelihood is you're going to get quite a bit of money back, potentially. You're going to get at least... You'll be unlucky to get £20 back you'd be lucky to get £200 back. So, you know, that's just food for thought. Like I said, I'm not encouraging or condoning this. This is a reporting channel. I'm reporting stuff. So what happened to me 10 years ago, I was a fool enough to do this duplicate account. But to be honest, and I swear on this, this is one of the times I can say I was being honest and truthful and a dimwit as well. I opened this account called Better at Home, one of these rubbish bookmaker companies. I didn't realise I opened one of the accounts years before that, and it was around two, year 2010, 2012, something like that. And I had the 10, just to get a free £10 bet. And I kept winning, and it got up to about £600. I thought, I better withdraw here, because I just don't trust this company, let alone because I didn't know that I had done the duplicate accounting. Anyway, when I sent them off the ID, they suddenly realised, oh, it's our trader's decision that you've already got an account with us, uh, we have voided your bet and given you your £10 back, which would have been all right if everything had lost or the first one would have lost. But this is the thing. When you send the ID off, you get caught out and I lost the £700. When you get those letters from traders like that, they're basically shutting the door on you and there's nothing you can do because it's all in the terms and conditions, which is why I say if you are one of those people that do this kind of stuff, what they usually do is don't lay things because you're not putting your balls on the line then. Uh, so the risks are high, um, high-ish, I don't know, are they high? I don't know, from what I've been reported it was. Years ago this used to be a lot easier because you could do the duplicate accounts on things like e-wallets with Nutella and Squill, which withdraw fast, well especially years ago they used to be very fast with PayPal of course, and be able to do it that way. You should be able to open an account, place your bets, withdraw that night, sometimes have it sitting in your balance in your bank or in your Nutella wallet or your Squirrel wallet that night and it was job done but it's getting abused this was before all of this profit accumulators and odds monkeys all come about that kind of time so but the trouble is when they verify you they seem to be more date of birth dependent on things they're not stupid like they used to be that like that used to I'm sure they're in um, SQL which is a database tool their, one of their primary keys didn't used to always be date of birth and I think one of their primary keys now is date of birth and also when they verify you because if you've got your date of birth it will show say for example on your driving license which is one of the most common means of forms of photo identification so this is just a reporting video guys um, this suits more of a gambler who's wanting to try their luck or someone like me 10 years ago who didn't even know they were doing it but it's different to multi-accounting because multi-accounting is where you, of course, do it on people's consent, but you do it for your girlfriend, your friend, your mum, your brother, your brother's mate, your brother's mate's mate, mates, mate, mate, mates, dogs, cats, mate, all of those kind of mates, as long as they're human. So, guys, please visit the website. I've got pitbets.com here. This is a rule for calculators free. I've got four much better calculators on there. Greenest trading website and best bookie website check those out guys and also sunday's video will be posted out in the evening so happy punting guys